Have you ever wondered what it looks like when the world begins to drown itself slowly, silently, and with scientific precision? Because that's what we're witnessing right now. And it's not happening in some distant future, it's happening today. Hey there, I'm Paul Mann, and I help people rethink how we use, reuse, and extend the life of water, saving 50 to 70% or more, and conserving hundreds of thousands of gallons every year. Stick around for practical solutions that make water last longer for a sustainable future. Now, according to a recent NASA analysis of satellite data, the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets are melting at an alarming rate. For around 2,000 years, global sea levels, they stayed relatively stable. That changed in the 20th century. Since the 1990s, the rate of annual sea level rise has more than doubled. The ice sheets alone, they're losing around 370 billion tons of ice every year, a rate that's quadrupled over the last three decades. This melt, it's the single biggest driver of sea level rise. And it's not just ice. Oceans absorb roughly 90% of excess heat generated by burning fossil fuels. As water warms, it expands. That's thermal expansion. And it's like pouring boiling water into an already full bathtub. Combined, the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets hold enough water to raise sea levels by roughly 213 feet. Scientists estimate sea levels will rise around six inches globally by 2050 and up to 10 to 12 inches in the US. The scary part, that's just the beginning. New research published in Communications Earth and Environment shows that the world's ice sheets are already on course for runaway melting, even if we somehow manage to meet the 1.5 degrees Celsius target in the Paris Agreement. Scientists reviewed everything from satellite data to ice cores, deep sea sediments, and even octopus DNA. What they found, it's sobering. Even our current level of warming, just 1.2 degrees Celsius, it's likely enough to trigger irreversible ice sheet retreat. Seas could begin rising nearly half an inch per year by century's end. That's more than 40 inches per century within the lifetime of today's youth. Globally, around 230 million people live less than 3.2 feet above sea level. This isn't about a few neighborhoods going underwater. It's about mass migration on a scale modern civilization has never seen. One of the biggest wild cards the Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctica, better known as the Doomsday Glacier. It's rapidly retreating, and if it collapses, it could trigger a chain reaction that raises sea levels by more than 10 feet. And here in the US, the Gulf Coast is already a warning sign. Land is sinking due to oil and groundwater extraction. Louisiana, they're especially at risk. Some areas are experiencing relative sea level rise nearly four times the global rate and it's one of the highest rates of land loss in the world. And the impacts aren't theoretical, they're happening now. High tide flooding has doubled or tripled along most US Atlantic and Gulf Coast lines since 1990. Sewage systems are backing up, salt water is invading drinking water supplies, beaches are disappearing. And yet, at the very moment we need more science, more monitoring, and more action, Donald Trump is proposing to slash the very federal agencies that track this crisis. These are the satellites and the scientists giving us the early warnings, and he wants to shut them down. This isn't just about climate, it's about people. A few inches of sea rise, it might not sound like much, until it's in your basement, in your water supply, or sweeping your community off the map. But here's the good news, we are not helpless. If we cut emissions now, transition to clean energy, restore natural buffers like wetlands, and fiercely protect science, we can slow this down. But the window, it's closing fast, because sea levels, they're not gonna wait for elections or debate. They rise inch by inch, foot by foot. So, what can you do? Start with your voice, share this video, talk to your friends and family, vote for leaders who believe in science and take action. Reduce your footprint, drive less, fly less, go solar, eat more plants, support local and global efforts to restore coasts and wetlands, and back the organizations that defend science and climate data. Because if we don't fight for the future, no one else will. We can either ride the wave of change or get swallowed by it. The choice is ours, and the time is now. Hey, thanks for watching. Our water future depends on action, and we all need to be water champions. Visit waterchampions.com to explore cutting-edge, 
water reuse and efficiency solutions for your home or business. Learn how you can implement these solutions through online courses available at renovaacademy.com and please drop your comments below, like, share, and subscribe to help spread the word. Thank you.